Nicholas, I just wanted to show you what is going on on the East Coast. Many of you are there, so you've probably experienced some, but, but this is a classic Northeaster. And what happens with the Northeaster is that we have a cold um, weather system with low pressure move off onto the Atlantic seaboard. And remember, I was talking last week that the ocean is going to be warmer than the air. Um, so what happens is that because of that, you have an unstable condition. Remember we talked about instability being warm air below, cold air up above. And so that warm air is less dense and it can rise. So it rises in this, in this area and that will form a deeper low because as the air is moving away from the surface, you don't have as much air pushing down on it. So low pressure. So you can see right now it is a 29.19, which is pretty, take my word for it, pretty low. The other indication here is see how many isobars it has around it, it's tightly packed in. So the closer the isobars are together, the stronger the winds. And so we have strong winds. Let me show you that quickly. Here it is, um, looking at, this would be up to about 40 miles per hour in these regions. So strong uh, easterly winds coming around this side and then turning northeasterly. And of course, you can see what's happening. It's coming across the water. So it picks up the moisture and then dumps it across the land, um, starting down here in Washington, D.C. They've seen snow, and as it's rolled up, you've seen it through New York City and now into Maine. And so looking at the snowfall, let me just bring that back up here for you. This is looking at the new snowfall in the next 12 hours, in the next 24 hours, and the next three days. Another system moving in here. So lots of snowfall along the eastern seaboard because of this one low pressure system that formed because of unstable conditions, because you have cold air that goes out across the ocean, it lifts. Low pressure deepens. If it deepens really fast, we call it a, a, a low pressure bomb. Um, and then you have the winds channeling in the moisture and bringing in snowfall across the northeast. So what is interesting about this is let me just take you out to the weekend. And what you're going to see is another area of low pressure. This one's coming in from the west. So it's not going to take this trek up the seaboard. Let me see if I can get it to move. And this one, we see it bomb out. This one moves off. We do see another one coming up the east, eastern seaboard. And again, this one is actually forecast at the moment to be even lower than the last one. And so we would again see a lot of snowfall, but it depend, this will be very dependent on the track you'll see that it's staying off of the coastline. That's just the current track. And so it would not, let me see, it would not, this is the snowfall for the next 12 hours. So it doesn't show the snowfall for this time. But if it stays further off the coastline, we won't see much snow. If it moves in though, we could get dumped on again. And just comparing the different models, you can see the GFS doesn't have it anywhere near as strong, but it's a long ways out. So um, lots to look at, but a pattern that we see very frequently, and it is um, what will bring in the heaviest snowfall for those regions.